dead bodies and body parts of the wicked in streets, alleyways, fields, and buildings. Our God will thoroughly cleanse the land. I was so scared. I was going to lose my family. I was going to lose my whole identity if I came to the conclusion that this wasn't for me. The thing that bothered me so much wasn't that they were wrong about creation. It was that they lied their asses off to cover it up. Music was always the most important thing. It didn't take time to actually delve into their belief system. I thought to myself, what am I doing? Is this how I want to live my life? Like, do I even believe this? I would sit in the elders' meetings. They asked what we did. Did you have sex? Did you go to a hotel? Where did he touch Who you? Who else was Where there? Did you touch well, I was asked if I had an orgasm. Music was my savior at that point. For creative people, it's like a need. And you, like, you have to be creative or you'll go nuts. And so to be able to find a group of people within a religion as strict as that one was amazing. When I got baptized when I was 16, I got out of the water. My father came up to me, he gives me a big hug, and he says, now you're not just my son, you're my brother. And then I'm just like, hey, Dad. I'm not going to talk to you again, you know? This is the shittiest thing ever. It was really bad. I miss my little community. I even miss feeling like there was a God that always knew how sincere I was. I kind of miss that. But wanting it doesn't make it so.